So our, as I mentioned, our, our aggregate is, is an aberrant glycogen molecule. And so you know, the difference between normal glycogen and this aberrant glycogen, which is referred to as a Lefora body aggregate, is that the architecture of what the carbohydrate, how it's put together. So normal glycogen is made up simply of glucose molecules that are linked together. And those chain, glucose chains are 12 to 15 glucose units long. And they're in a very systematic branching pattern to allow that glucose molecule to be water soluble so that it can be rapidly accessed by the cell whenever energy is needed. Uh, in the case of the aggregate, what happens is that the aggregate becomes hyperphosphorylated. The glycogen becomes hyperphosphorylated and that changes then the branching pattern and the chain length. And so these chains then become 25 up to 50 glucose units long. Mm -hmm. And that allows the chains to start to form helical structures like we see with DNA. And that essentially squeezes the water out of the glycogen molecule. Mm -hmm. And so we've shown recently that that, that then leads to this semi-crystalline aggregate where the cell is making this energy cache that it can't release now that glucose from. And so similar to what you were mentioning with your aggregates, there is this normal process where you need essentially a, a glycogen uh, aggregate, but not the diseased form of it. And it's this architectural shift that changes into to cause the disease pathology.